We all love some good D, right? Well, I'm gonna take your D to the next level with just nine key tips. It doesn't matter what game mode you play or what build you're on, this video will help you out and turn you into a better defender. You know what else we all love? 25Xing your cash on prize picks. Y'all like the entry for this weekend or not? Nah? Right now it's only a 10X, but if I wanted that 25X, all I would have to do is just add one more player and there's the 25X, but I'ma play it safe. I'm gonna go with the 10X, $20 to win $200. Let's go ahead and place our entry. Click the link in description, use code YOUNGDIRK, and prize picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Yes, they will match your first deposit up to $100. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Go and get your deposit match right now. Thank you to prize picks for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. To get more control over your player and limit your sliding, you want to have your defensive assist strength under 20. Anywhere under 20 is fine. I personally run it on 15. And then to avoid getting dragged by your arrow, you're gonna wanna turn who to guard off. There's a few ways you can play defense. The first one is just running side to side while holding the right trigger, just running back and forth. This is not a good way to play D. The next way is just moving your left stick side to side without holding turbo. I see a lot of people playing D like this and this is not the correct way either. Now we're improving here. This is playing D while holding your left trigger. This is a good way to play D. Just left trigger back and forth on your left stick. But this isn't the best. Let's improve again. We're holding the left trigger, moving side to side while holding the right stick up the whole time and hands up D. Should you hold the right stick up while holding the right trigger? The answer is yes. As you can see, they are pretty much the exact same speed. You guys are probably wondering what's the benefit of hands up D? If your hands are up and your opponent shoots the ball, the game will auto contest for you. But the best and fastest defensive style is holding the right and the left trigger at the same time. Here it is in comparison to the left trigger with the hands up. It's almost a step to a step and a half faster. To become an elite defender, you have to learn how to incorporate both of these defensive styles into your game. Let me show you an example. In this clip, I'm holding the left trigger almost the entire time. Depending on what he does will determine if I am putting my hands down and holding turbo, or if I'm not holding turbo and my hands are up. I slide back and forth to try to get into his head. My hands are up the whole time. He is going to cross in my direction. I'm going to let go of my hands up and hold the right trigger while holding LT to cut him off. He's gonna do a great behind the back move. He has me cooked right here, okay? He has a fade or he can dribble out to the three. I need to sprint towards him to cut off his fade and his rim run. I'm gonna hold LT and put my hands up and sprint towards him all at the same time right here because I'm expecting the shot and look exactly what happens. He shoots and I force him into a smothered, horrible, horrendous shot. Even if he doesn't shoot that shot, that's still how you want to play it. If you're holding all three of them at once, it protects the shot and you're able to quickly adjust if he does a speed boost out of that hot back. Why is hands up D so important? It's to protect the shot and it's to protect the rim run. In all of these clips, I promise you, I did not jump one time. This is all hands up D and the game auto contesting for me. Even on that clip, that was just right stick up. I did not hit Y or triangle or jump for the block. So anytime someone goes to the rim on you, just keep your hands up. 2K will play the game for you and help you out and give you a good contest animation. Yes, I know it's hard to believe, that 2K will actually want to help you out, but they will. Watch this right here. Hands up and I get a great contest animation. 92% contested and all I had to do was hold my right stick up. Again, holding right stick up, get a very early 18% contest. Next tip, if you're in a situation like this where they're in the paint and they're doing pump fakes, never, never, ever, never, ever, jump just keep your right stick up and you will get a contest every single time unless they are literally a post scorer and they are a foot taller than you do not jump this dude right here is obviously a lot taller than me and i am still not jumping just hands up by the way my interior on this build is like a 65 and my block is a 68 
so I don't even have good interior D and I'm still able to get stops just because I'm being disciplined and not jumping and just keeping my hands up, right stick up defense. Never, ever, ever, ever jump, never. You guys might be asking Dirk, then when are we supposed to jump? The only time you ever jump is when you see your opponent in their layup or dunk animation. That is what I am doing in all of these clips. And look at this clip right here. This one is crazy. You guys see this clip? This is my 6'4", taking someone out of a dunk animation with a 25 block and a 25 interior. I swear to God, this is no troll. This is no cap. My 6'4 build with no defense upgraded took this dude out of a dunk. That is what I am talking about. The only time you jump is when you see them in their animation already. You can actually take them out of their animation. The next tip is like your foundation. It's very important. It is the perfect distance on defense, which means the place where I want you guys to stand when you are playing on ball defense. You want to stand in a spot where you're far back enough that it looks like they could have an open shot, but close enough that if you took a step or two in, you'd be able to get a contest. That's where I want you to stand because when you're standing like this, you're further enough back in case they try to attack the rim and you're close enough to them to where they might get in their head and be like, oh crap, I don't know if I'm open or not. I'm probably not going to take that risk and shoot a shot because he might get a contest. Half of defense is mind games. You want to move side to side, up and down, get in your opponent's head, try to bait him into a bad shot, a bad pass, a bad move, a bad drive. You guys get the point. I want you guys to pay attention to these two clips and tell me if you can figure out what I want you guys to look for. There is clip number one and here is clip Number two, did you guys notice anything very similar or specific? It's that he shoots off of this step back every time. You want to pick up on people's tendencies. So he did this twice earlier in the game. And on this next clip right here, when the game's on the line, I called it perfectly. He shot a smothered and the dude in game chat literally said, dang, he played that perfectly because I picked up on his tendencies. When you are playing defense, you want to pay attention to what they like to do and what their common moves are. Everybody has that one move that they just love and that is their go-to move. In the middle of the games, if you can figure out your opponent's favorite move, that's going to give you an edge. And if you can pick up on all of their top moves and their tendencies, you're going to have a major edge. When you're playing D, don't just play D. Pay attention to what they're doing and play D at the same time. I don't have any steel on my build and this tip is about steel, so I don't have any clips. So enjoy these jump shot clips. And if you want a jump shot, the link to that video will be in the description. Anyway, unless you have glove on gold or hall of fame, do not take the risk of going for an on ball steal unless you are 100% sure you are going to get the steal. Why is this? Because if you reach in this game and you don't get the on ball steal for about a half a second to a second you're gonna be out of the play and in that small time frame that could cost your whole defensive possession and they could get an easy bucket if you like to go to the casino and blow all your money and you want to gamble on that steal go ahead i'm just here and i'm giving you my advice i don't ever reach and try to get the on ball steal and i rarely even try to get lanes and with lanes it's the same thing if i don't have interceptor on gold or on hall of fame i'm not gonna risk trying to get the lane steal because if i don't i am then out of the play and they are most likely going to score and that is a risk i don't want to take i would rather just use all these defensive tips in this video and hold my ground and play some good solid d this is new to 2k24 and it's very dumb and i'm gonna explain what's going on here as you can see 99 perimeter defense and 25 perimeter defense have the same speed as far as lateral quickness that's because this year lateral quickness is not linked to perimeter defense it's linked to your speed and shout out to 2k toots for figuring this out but yes bro look at this your lateral quickness is linked directly to your speed this year both of my builds used in this video are on screen check them out hope you guys have a good day hope this helped drop a like if it did go out <laughs>